I wanted to talk about an area that uh, a lot of resellers miss. Um, when you're buying bulk or buying job lots uh, at auction or estates or you're buying out estates um, or buying out inventory or whatever, you can end up finding things like keys, uh, buttons, um, whatever, uh, keychains, uh, all kinds of little bric-a-brac, pens, whatever. Now, all of these items tend not to be worth a whole lot separately, individually. You know, what are you going to sell a, a random brass house key for? You know, scrap metal, basically, or uh, a dime, <laughs> five cents. <laughs> um, so, really, there is a market, believe it or not, for bulk um, items like these. Now, I, for example, I just sold uh, 25 keys on Etsy for $20. That's shipped, mind you, but going within Canada, it goes uh, uh, letter mail and uh, will cost probably about 3 or $4. So, say $15 for uh, 25 random keys. And I, I don't mean skeleton keys, I don't mean cabinet keys, I mean just regular household keys. You know, the ones you tend to throw away or throw in a scrap bin or uh, toss in junk boxes or job lots or whatever. So, these sorts of uh, random items that have minimal or, or negligible value can be worth saving. If you set up a system, a shelf system of little bins, and as you're going through your uh, purchases, your junk lots, uh, your estates or whatever, you can just throw them in those bins. Now, you'll gradually accumulate enough of an item to sell a bulk. Um, even junk jewelry. Uh, if it's broken jewelry... Um, bits of buckles and uh, uh, sewing notions and that sort of thing, you can sell them all in bulk as long as you're sorting them out and doing that work. And if you've got a system set up, it's easy. It's very easy. Um, if you sort them into those categories of all keys, all broken jewelry, um, all beads, whatever you can end up selling them in bulk, selling them by weight, selling them by quantity, um, whatever. Uh, jewelry, for example, when I buy bulk lots of jewelry at auction or whatever, there's always a broken bit or um, something that is just way too far gone to sell as a, a good resaleable piece of jewelry. And you can put them in lots <clears throat> of broken jewelry for crafters, artists, or people repairing jewelry, for that matter, will even buy um, broken Sherman or brand names like that to get the parts for repairing other jewelry. There is a market. So, bags of jewelry, bags of keys, bags of buttons, bags of Barbie doll heads, for that matter, or Barbie doll arms, or bags of broken dolls, it's all saleable still. Uh, a lot of it you would throw out or give to the thrift shop or sell in a junk lot, a junk drawer lot. And that's another lot you'll see on eBay and uh, shops like Etsy and such, junk drawer lots where it'll be a bunch of random little small things all together. And somebody will see value in a few of those things and buy them. So, um, but I find that if you're putting stuff in a junk drawer lot, you don't get the same kind of value as you will selling them in an organized fashion, as i.e. all keys, all Barbie doll heads, all junk jewelry, whatever, all plastic bangles, or whatever. Now, some of these people will be buying for flea market resale, some will be buying for crafting, some will be buying for their art projects. Uh, a whole array, you'd be surprised what people will buy. You can do this with postcards, whatever, that any of those little things that have negligible value, 
Um, postcards maybe is not the best example unless they're modern postcards selling a thick stack of modern postcards for you know ten dollars or fifteen dollars where they'd be recycling otherwise yeah well worth it you know don't sell your vintage postcards for in bulk like that unless you don't have a market for them if if you're in say you're in Canada and you're not selling online or um, you just don't have the time and you want to bulk up your US postcards or your European cards all in in uh, you know all Germany all uh, England or whatever there will be dealers out there that will happily buy those from you you'll have to ship overseas more than likely or ship to another country but still there's a market um, patches um, all kinds of things pins um, I, I hate dealing with little pins for 50 cents in a buck so I bulk them up in a bag and I get rid of pins that way uh, bulk wholesale lots of pins and a flea marketer will happily buy them because they will make a mint selling them at 50 cents in a buck and a buck and a half or two bucks and I've gotten rid of them because they're not worth my time to deal with I've already made a profit on the few really good pins in the lot or uh, see the value in the better pins in a large lot um, I did buy a large quantity from a factory um, a distributor rather um, that uh, did um, sports uh, gear and they had a pin division so I ended up with bulk quantities of pins and I sold them by the board basically just selling bulk lots of pins um, so there's a market for everything uh, if if you had um, let's see um, cell phones <laughs> you had bulk numbers of cell phones and wanted to get rid of cell phones there are buyers for those bulk cell phones even if they're negligible there's people who will scrap them out there are people who want uh, more modern phones for parts for repairs or resale uh, there's some uh, that uh, will buy them for uh, dismantling for the gold content and recycling purposes so there's a market for a lot of stuff in bulk it may have negligible value alone but in bulk you can get some decent money out of it and like I was saying twenty dollars for 25 house keys and uh, valueless keys basically so uh, the well worth boxing up bulking up those sorts of items and they're easy to deal with you're pouring them in a bag you're wrapping them tight in tape and um, basically boxing them or putting them in a padded envelope very easy to deal with make sure you make sure you're not handling them much um, and it's well worth the uh, profits so hopefully that uh, will make you a few extra bucks and uh, yeah check check out bulk listings on eBay on Etsy um, on Facebook even uh, you can sell stuff like I said in in bulk very easy anyway thanks for watching guys please make sure you like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below as to what you you've thought or what you've sold in bulk um, surprise me <laughs> so let's see what crazy things that you've sold in bulk and uh, made a good buck on so uh, take care all thanks for watching